Hello, beauty bees. Welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna have a lot of fun because today we're gonna be trying Lush makeup. Wee! Who who buys Lush makeup? Like, does anybody buy the makeup at Lush? Anybody? No. So I thought I would do you the favor and spend all the money on this and try it for you, so we can see whether it's like worth it or not. Wee! <laughs> I went to the Lush in Myeongdong, um, like the new big one, and they had just, just a bunch of colors, a bunch of like fancy colors, things you probably would not think of purchasing. So I bought some pretty like interesting colors to try out. Um, I've got some face products and I've got some eyeshadows, liners, all that. Uh, but yeah, so I've got foundation. They have foundations in like yellow and pink undertones. I got. Um, dark yellow because I'm dark by Korean standards. <laughs> and then I also got some of these uh, darker colors that I guess are supposed to be like shading, contouring colors. I got light brown. And then I got this highlighter, I think, the Skin Tint in Feeling Younger. My Botox is running out, so I need to go back to get my Botox, but for now I'm gonna be using this. I guess it's like a powder. This is the um, Emotional Brilliance Translucent Face Powder. And then I have a bunch of um, like mascara, eyeliner, and uh, eyeshadow, but we'll get we'll get to that later on in the video. So um, I'm gonna try this the color supplement in dark yellow. That looks uh, really natural. Really good, actually. I still have some like yodrum that I need to cover up, but I don't know if it's going to. This would probably be good for daily makeup, actually. Um, because, you know, it's vegan, it's all natural. So it's not gonna, hopefully, it's not gonna break you out um, and give you more. Okay, there's the base. How does it look? How's it look there? All right, now I'm gonna try out contouring. This is, this can be very dangerous because um, I tried it in store and it's really like, really dark. really orange. You could probably use this as like bronzer. If you like to if you like to bronzing. It just looks like a, my nose is orange. <sighs> Next. This one is what I'm excited for. It's the feeling younger skin tint, the highlighter. Because I, every time I walk into Lush, I always like test this out. Um, and I'm just surprised every time because it gives my skin, it makes my skin look really shiny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next. I'm happy now after the mess that this was. Thank you. Feeling younger. Okay. Now, like I said, my skin is feeling like really heavy and like oily right now. So I'm gonna try to use this, um, Translucent face powder in Emotional Brilliance. So I want to set my face, but I don't want to cover up my highlight. So I'm gonna use a little bit. Hmm, that looks pretty good actually. So that was it for the face products. Now we're gonna try the eye products. I've got three um, eye products. I've got my mascara um, in Eyes Right. And then I've got, I think these are eyeshadows, but you can also use them as eyeliners, etc. Um, Oh, this, this one's an eyeliner, as you can see. What is this one? This is in the color Fantasy, Confident, Bubbly. Um, what should I start with? I'm gonna put the pink, the bubbly, all over my eye. Actually, I think this is a uh, original, like a lip color, like a lipstick, but she said you can put these all over, all over your face wherever you want to, so I'll try my hand first. Oh, this is a strong honey. Let's try blending that out. <laughs> Next, let's try on Fantasy. That's pretty, I guess. Wow, look at that. And then I'm gonna use this one in Confident. Um, to add, like, to make it really fall. That's strong. 
So these all have really good pigmentation. Like the color is really good, but I'm just, I don't know if, like you see that, it just moves all over the place, so. What the hell? <laughs> Everyone was like. <laughs> it almost looks like I got like punched in the eye, but it's okay. But it came out like much better than I thought. You know, this is mascara, but I'm gonna try to use it as like an eyeliner. Oh. Oh. There's actually, there is actually a black eyeliner that they have, but after buying this, all this stuff, I was like, this is really expensive. So I figured I could just use the mascara as black eyeliner, <laughs> but it's not working, as you can see. The thing is so short that if I try to put it by my eye, the cap hits my cheek. Can you see that? So this is, oh. So the formula is very, very wet. Um, and it makes your lashes kind of look long, but it makes it like clumps your lashes like together. So if you don't have many lashes, you'll probably look like you have two eyelashes. After you use it, it'll go like or And because we're making a fall look, um, I'm gonna try a dark lip. I'm gonna try using this as a base for my lip. <laughs> In Korea, do they have that game Sims? Simju? And when you're making a character and you put makeup on the character, this is what they look like. <laughs> but other than that, the formula feels really comfortable and moisturizing. But I can tell this is not gonna stay on very long. Like, see, it's like all off. Now because the makeup is so dark, I feel like I need to put something on my cheeks. So I'm gonna try to see if I can mix these colors to make like a blush, I guess. I'm gonna mix this, the pink, and then put a little bit of the purple. So it's like this color, I guess. <laughs> mm, I don't wanna mess this up. <laughs> At the last step, mess everything up. Let's see. I'm gonna try putting it more on the back. Almost like in a contoury kind of way. No, it just looks like I'm from the 80s. Like Kiss, that rock band Kiss or David Bowie. <laughs> Ta-da! Wansung입니다. Hotel. I'm going to go to Gangnam tonight and get all of the opas and they're going to they're going to want to go home with this one right here. <laughs> anyway, so my final thoughts on lush makeup. Very oily, very heavy. My face feels like I have like cake frosting on it. Other than that, um, if I had to recommend something, um, I would recommend maybe the color supplements because um, these would probably make good for like daily makeup because um, it's very natural looking and it, it, it's all natural and um, the coverage is actually pretty good. And then definitely um, feeling younger, the highlighter, this is really, really nice. Like I, I'm gonna keep this and y'all, you guys can have the rest of this makeup. But um, don't get, don't even bother with these unless like, your skin tone can handle the color. The um, like lip stuff, the eyeshadow things, I would I think work really well as like bases for other eyeshadow, like powder eyeshadow. Um, if you try to use them as like an eyeliner, it will I think it will come off easily. So um, I think you should just use this as like a wash of color on the lids or something, uh, or even like cream, like cream blusher. Um, so yeah, those are my recommendations. Uh, that was pretty interesting because. I've always, for the longest time, I've always wondered what their makeup was like, and now we tried it. So make sure you follow Beauty Beast on Instagram. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see more of these kinds of videos. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.